Good morning, Williamsport. I'm Anna Von Stewart. And I'm Connor Hensler. Delivering you your morning announcements. Please turn your TVs to channel 99 and conduct your opening exercise. Today is Tuesday, September 27th, and that means it's Trivia Tuesday. For today's Trivia Tuesday, who won the presidential debate last night? Today we have Ms. Brosen with us to teach us about banned books. This week is Banned Books Week. This year's Banned Books Week is focusing on the diversity of authors and ideas that have prompted a dispor disproportionate share of challenges. The American Library Association's Office for Intellectual Freedom states that more than half of all banned books are by authors of color or ones that represent groups or viewpoints outside the mainstream. Today's banned books is This Book is Gay by James Dawson. In 2015, the public library in Wasilla, Alaska moved its entire young adult nonfiction to the adult stacks in response to a complaint about Dawson's book. Several Wasilla residents attacked the book at a city council meeting, saying that they didn't want gay books or books about gay people in the library at all. For defending the sex education book for teens, the library director was branded as a pedophile in the highly controversial debates. My name's Kim Brosen, and I read, buy, and recommend banned books. <laughs> For news around our school, the Top Hat Pride team, in collaboration with the Senior Class Executive Board, is sponsoring the last Fall Red Out event on Saturday, October 1st, 2016. At the game, the Senior Class will be sponsoring games and activities. Students will have an opportunity to win gift cards for competing in the different competitions. Red Out shirts will be available at the game if you have not received a shirt yet. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Ross. Picture Day is this week and will take place during your English class. Listen closely. The schedule is as follows. Today, sophomore class and seniors in Mrs. Marzacco's class, English classes, pardon me, Mr. Marzacco's English classes, and tomorrow, junior class and seniors in Dr. Weaver, Weaver's English classes. Friday is picture makeup day. There will be a meeting for all junior girls who are playing powder puff football in Mrs. Swink's room, F119, during First Bank today. Be there if you plan to play. All girls interested in playing girls basketball this year there will be workouts every Sunday starting this Sunday, October 2nd from 5 to 7 p.m. in the high school gym. See Coach Morgan in G205 if you have any questions. Registration for the Preliminary Scholastic Aptitude Test, or PSAT, is now open. College-bound juniors should all take advantage of this chance to practice your test-taking skills before taking the official SAT. The PSAT will be given at school on Wednesday, October 19th. The cost is $15, and fee waivers are available to eligible students. Register in the guidance office by October 12th. Due to College Board's restrictions, no registrations can be accepted after October 12th. Sign up today. And Kendra Billman from the James V. Brown Library will be offering a creative writing class in the library Tuesdays during Bank A. Spaces are limited, so please see Mrs. Brosen for a pass. And if you are looking to have some fun and meet new people in the world of theater, come on down to TO4, the Black Box, after school this Friday to try out for Williamsport's own Famous Without a Q improv troupe. Hey, juniors and seniors. It's time once again for the college fair at Lycoming College. This year, there are approximately 70 colleges attending the fair to be held in Lomity Gym at Lycoming College. College night is Thursday, September 29th at 6.30 p.m., and a list of schools is available from the guidance office. Any student interested in forming an Odyssey of the Mind team, please see Mrs. Moore in E110 as soon as possible. And in the world of sports, the girls' JV soccer team won 3-0 against Central Mountain. The goals were scored by Katrina Zakowitz, Katie Shevsky, and Sydney Deffenbach. The varsity girls' team won 4-0, adding another shutout for the Millionaires. Two goals were scored by Sammy Reeder, one by Maddie Bowman, and one by Louise Lavecchio. Good job, girls. The Williamsport girls tennis team defeated Mifflinburg 5-0, taking all varsity matches in two sets on Monday, September 26, 2016. The Millionaires are now 11-2 for their season. Katie Miali blanked Melanie Rankard in her 6-0, 6-0 win. In singles, Amanda Souther defeated Colette Southerton. Katie Miali defeated Melanie Rankard, and Alicia Chin defeated Allison Wagner. 
In doubles, Madison Heller and Megan Wyck defeated Abby Underhill and Sam Irvin, and Christine McSpadden and Mia Schuler defeated Tiffany Fees and Amber Leitzel. The next tennis match will be in Williamsport at home versus Jersey Shore on Thursday, 929. For news in the guidance office, attention all Upward Bound students. Upward Bound will have its first meeting this Thursday in the guidance conference room immediately after school. If you have any questions about Upward Bound, please see Mrs. Hunsinger in the guidance office. Representatives from the following colleges and universities will be at WAHS next week. If you are interested in meeting with any of them, please stop in the guidance office to sign up for a pass. On September 28th, Bloomsburg University at 1.30 p.m. September 29th, Thaddeus Stevens College at 9.30 and Wilson College at 1 p.m. September 30th, University of Pittsburgh at 9 a.m. and Lackawanna College at 11 a.m. The weather for today is foggy with a high of 75 and a low of 45. And for today's lunch menu, today's tasty choices are grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup, mixed vegetables, blueberries with topping, and fat-free milk. The answer for today's Trivia Tuesday is, it is still being debated. And that's all we have for today. Keep, Keep it, it rich, rich, millionaires. millionaires. Be present, be respectful, be responsible, and be professional.